morning guys, welcome to a, another weekly vlog. Hope it's been going all right for you this last week. Um, I know for myself, again, it's been another busy week. I seem to be juggling quite a few different things. Um, so at the moment on my desk, as you can see, I'm just preparing for another weekend workshop. I'm really excited about this one because we are going to be doing some screen printing. We're going to be um, screen printing on tote bag. But this is like quite a simple screen printing method. Um, it doesn't involve photo emulsion. You don't need um, you don't you don't need the computer or anything like that. It's basically just using drawing fluid and a screen filler and then you're able to just um, print onto anything you want. I'm gonna be showing you how to print on tote bags, um, but you could just easily transfer the design to like a t-shirt or tea towel or anything else that you wanna print on. It depends on what kind of ink you use, so I'm gonna be using fabric um, printing ink so that's why I can then apply this design to any fabric. So if you wanted to just print on, say, paper, then you just use an acrylic um, printing ink. And there are lots of water-based varieties that you can choose. I'll leave the links to that anyway below, just in case you want to check it out. And watch out for the weekend workshop as well. I'm really hoping to get it up this weekend which is tomorrow but as i'm still filming it it may be pretty tight so it may come this weekend but it might be a bit late um on the weekend but anyway it means that you can get ready for the, get the materials maybe ready if you want to do it for next weekend also this week guys remember last last week i was designing my moo cards and i sent them off to print and they have arrived and if you see guys i haven't opened it yet i have waited until my time with you to open it so this is um i don't know what they look like so let's have a look together <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use some scissors because <laughs> it's gonna take me ages otherwise. We're in. Okay. Moo are very good at packaging, might I add. We have three stacks of business cards and a little box. So they always provide a little handy carrier box. Um, and this has my business cards in, which are very cool. Let's have a look. They've got a matte lamination on them, so they're very smooth, but they're matte, so they're not glossy. They're also really thick, so I quite like the thickness. They look pretty cool. So if you're looking for an illustrator who you will need to do food or maps, maybe consider me. <laughs> um, they're really cool. They're like little works of art, aren't they? So probably make a little, um, art wall with these, they look really cool. So I'm really happy with those and be excited to give them to people. So yesterday I went into Truro and um, I wanted to have like a little 
recce of some books because you know I'm doing my Paul Flevin sketchbook and I'm trying to put that together at the moment. I wanted to just have get some ideas um, and actually see some books in the flesh. I've been looking and researching a lot online but I felt like I actually just needed to get out and see some books in the flesh that would give me an idea of how I want the book to look and maybe the feel of the book. Um, so it was really good. Yesterday I just got out and um, went to my favourite art shop in Juro um, and they have quite a wide selection of art related books and I thought that was probably the best place to go because that's the kind of book that I am producing. It will be um, a book of my sketches and I kind of just want that feel, you know, where you pick it up and you 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 just feel really excited about it, really interested in the art that's inside and yeah so I got quite a few ideas. I really like the um, quarry books of how to draw something. I think one of them was by Lisa Congdon who is another illustrator and um, I really like the end papers, you know, I think that really makes a book look more interesting and exciting and I've actually been um, drawing some of the details around Paul Flevin and I'm going to make those into a pattern which I will then put on the end papers, in the front and the back, um, just because I think it would make it look really um, fun and quirky and just inviting. Um, so that's what I've been working on this week. I have now actually started the InDesign um, document and I've worked out the size of the page and then and that kind of thing. I'm now working on the map um, to go in the book with all of the places that I've actually sketched so it's actually quite a long process to work out the order in which you want people to view the sketches so I'm doing a sketch trail so I'm numbering like each point on the map where I drew so people could then actually follow as they go around. Um, so I'm kind of in the middle of trying to do that. The Paul Flevin map that I was working on last week, that has now been submitted for final checks. So hopefully that will all be done and dusted and I'll start work on another map, which will be great. So yeah, let me know guys what you're up to this week. Anything interesting going on? Yeah. I've just finished uh, collaborating on a animated lettering piece with a girl who's just finished studying 2D animation at Falmouth University. Um, I met her um, through a student group that I ran at my church in Falmouth and I thought it would be really great to actually collaborate with her. I thought both of us would benefit from working on the project together. We did a couple of these illustrated animations last year and I'm finally getting around to putting them up. You'll probably have seen it already on the channel so I'll leave a link to it, it's either here or here. So check out that lettering piece. It was really good to work on that project. I'd been wanting to work with an animator actually for a while so I just thought well it'd be a good opportunity for Becca to, to um, expand her portfolio and make something as well as work with someone else so I found the process you know really quite interesting and really like seeing how my illustrations were brought to life. It is something that I would like to explore I think maybe later in the year. I think it's really quite a fascinating process. Um, so yeah check it out if you haven't already. Love to hear your feedback in the comments below. And don't forget, if you are looking for a 2D animator, why not hire Becca for your next project? Anyway guys, I hope you're well. Let me know what's going on in your week, um, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye!